Hugh and Olivia are here now. So espionage and dastardly goings on and goodies and baddies. It's yes. as dastardly like you wouldn't believe. Are you dastardly? You I am. Hear a I am full on dastardly <laughs> in yeah. this. Yes, I am. Di I'm proud to say, I'm described in the story and in, in the script as the worst man in the world. In the world. So if you, that's what you're looking to cast. I am apparently who you go to. You're the baddest man. I am. I'm very, You're the baddest man. I'm weirdly man. proud of that. So does that make you a goodie? I'm, I'm the best <laughs> man. <in> the best. <laughs> Why do you say man? Because it, well, this is an adaptation of John le Carre's novel, yeah. isn't it? The Night Manager, which I know you're a huge fan I of, which indeed. we'll come to in a minute. But, but your part was originally a, a male character. That's right, yes. And they said, we must have Olivia Colman. Get rid of that man. <laughs> I'm not sure it went quite like that. But um, yes, I think they certainly wanted... Um, some more women, and uh, uh, quite right. And so that character became a woman, and luckily... And she is Angela Burr, yes. a British intelligence chief. Yes. So, big wig. Yeah, yeah. quite a big cheese. Um, how would you describe her and, and her role in this? Um, well, she is... I suppose there's a lot of yin and yang and, and uh, um, opposites, good and bad, and I'm the good one, the opposite of you. Are and you trying to bring him down, then? Yes, yes. it's my raison d'etre, is yeah. to take him down. And we saw there lovely Tom Hiddleston. Yeah. So he's the kind of main character who you're yeah. then yeah. sending he is the night, off. the night manager, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, try, I get him to work for me to try and take him down. Um, I said it's based on a John le Carre novel, and I know you're a massive fan, so Worship. what does it feel like now to Worship be in well, a John le Carre it's, story? It's simultaneously... It's incredibly exciting to, to have, be involved in this story, which I have loved for t I think about 25 years ago it was published. Um, uh, but it's also, uh, you know, it's daunting because mm. if it means as much to me, other people as it meant to me, it, you know, you're, you are risking a... You're taking a very precious thing and you better get it right because it'll... Yes. It upsets people if you don't. Did you have to have his permission to do the... Oh, absolutely, yes. Yeah. I mean, he's actually very involved, um, he, uh, much more than I thought he would be. Yeah. He had one, he had one, I think he's just supposed to say, well, thank you very much to Tom. And he actually started, he started building his part. Picking his part. It's, it's, a, it's an hour-long scene now, um, because who's going to tell John le Carre? Well, you can't to, to, get you can't, out yeah. of your Would own you story. Too, too many words. You were pregnant during the film. I mean, when, yes. when no, you took... No, I was... Oh, no, sorry. <laughs> You've lost the baby weight, Hugh. You look amazing, <laughs> I have to say. Well done. But um, did you, you became pregnant. You'd accepted the part, became pregnant, obviously. You no, I was pregnant before them. I went for my oh, first meeting. Oh, so I, I thought... I have to be honest, because it's, it's going to become quite obvious, and I, I do want the job. <laughs> um, so I thought, I'll just tell them. And, uh, and it was Susanna, the director that I met, and um, she was very nice about it. And she said, you'll have to go away and talk to the producers, and came back and said, yeah, it's fine. We can go well, they wanted pregnant. a woman, they got everything that comes with yes. it. Did you have to do lots of scenes kind of behind boxes and carrying Luckily, a jumper? Because it was, so it was written in, so it was obvious and, uh, and, and all very open. But because it was, uh, we start, obviously, uh, before she's meant to be pregnant. Is that yes, right? yes. And so there was a few uh, big jumper behind desks. <laughs> and that, that little bump covered. is now six months old, I yes. believe. Yes. 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 And Hugh, so obviously we, we lost you to America, to house, you were gone for many years. So does this mean now that we've but got you back? my heart was always here. Good. Um, yes, absolutely. Now? No, it's been, I've been back and loving it. It's, mm. um, I actually recommend it for to actually leave the country for I think I think people should do it uh, like rather like national service should go away for a couple of years and come back and look at their where they live you because new you look eyes. at the places with new eyes you do mm. did you appreciate and it more I really do I honestly I'm, I'm quite boring about it how beautiful England is you know you have to go away for quite some time you come back oh my god this is just what did you what did you miss most when you got back did you realize you'd missed most then oh there's so many things nhs more than nhs <laughs> <There's> so <laughs> many things <laughs>